Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today's project is this tall Easter curved treat box. To make it, I'm using the Hip of Happiness um, bundle. I wanted the lamb and these are the dies that go with it. So this is quite a comprehensive die set because it includes not only the creatures but also um, label dies. And this one is the one I'm using. I'm also using the Wish for Everything stamp set. So I'm just using Happy Easter. The other items I'm using are the Highland Heather and Smoky Slate inks um, for embellishing the pastel pearls. The Purple Posy Scalloped Ribbon. Um, this is in the Last Chance product sale at the moment. And it's reduced from £7.50 to £4.50. The Snail Combo Twine Pack. Um, I'm using the Whisper White. We need scraps of mint macaron and basic white. And from the mint macaron you need to cut two pieces of 1 8 inch by an A4 length. Um, to make the tendrils here and also um, the scrap to punch the leaves. Purple posy scrap and the uh, strawberry builder punch and a handheld punch which has been retired. Now to <coughs> score the curves you probably need a dinner plate or some sort of oval shape. This oval shape is from Do Crafts. It's a cross cut oval um, and circle. I did look at the oval dies but they're not big enough. A side plate will do just as well. To make the box you need two pieces of cardstock six and a quarter by eight and a quarter um, that's 16 centimeters by 21 centimeters. You need both your trimmer and your scoreboard so to start with with the long side at the top you score at one inch and five and a quarter inches. So take your cardstock clockwise so that the short side is now on the top and you score at half an inch and three and a half inches. Now the one inch is at the top. Switch to your trimmer and with a half inch score line on the left you want to score a, a cut from the one inch horizontal line here uh, at the top at one and a half inches so you align the left edge at one and a half inches and you cut from the one inch score line up to the top at one and a half inches move your cardstock to the left and align it at two and a half inches Reposition your cutting blade, align it at one inch, cut to the top. Okay, next you want to cut at four and a half inches. Align it at the one inch horizontal score line, cut to the top, and then at five and a half inches, and cut that to the top. Now you can see where I've <coughs> marked it with the hashtags in black. Those are the bits that you want to cut off. Okay, so I've... <coughs> so you want to mitre that corner and cut that bit off. Where the half inch score line is. Mitre that corner. And cut away that bit. Okay, now bend these back. Those are the tabs you want to keep, and you just cut off the bits where the hashed, hashed uh, areas are. So that's what it should look like when you've finished. So let's burnish these lines again. The bits we want to cut away. So it's this half inch piece here 
and the first tab and then going along here you want this one in the middle and the one on the end and this bit here now you want to cut up at these two bottom bits which will form the base of your box now you can see where I've scored so it's basically from this point to the top of that point this point down to there and for the same on the next panel so the reason why I cut it first is because then it will be easy for you to see where you should score so bring in this oval and you want to put your stylus at that point there but your circle that uh, your oval up there or your plate put your stylus down there and then move it so it's touching and then draw that arc several times but without pressing too hard on the paper so you don't tear the paper so you go along to the next one put your stylus there put that up so that it's hitting it make sure that's also hitting it at that point and score a few times okay now turn your paper upside down and you're scoring from this point to that point so put your stylus there put your oval up or your plate and make your score there and then do the same for here now you want to tease your curves make sure that that one should go in and the curves actually pop out and do the same for this side That goes in, that goes in. Now that you've reinforced your creases, you want to join these together. Make sure they meet up and that your curves are in line. And fold that over. Um, and put double sided tape on there or tearing tape so that you can join them together you need to also cut a one inch square uh, in purple posy so that uh, it gives it a neat finish um, because on one of the sides you need to uh, thread the ribbon through. I've made a template, this is one inch square as well and I drew a diagonal across there to find the centre of the hole. You need to punch the middle Now you can join the box together so just fold this bit over, remove the tape and put that over the top. I forgot to say um, that you have to take two of the flaps and just cut off a little bit. All right. And then take your glue and glue that together and see where your back is that's your back so this is your front so that goes on last so put this on just press it in make sure that's stuck and that goes on last and take your bone folder and just Reinforce those bottom bits 
and then pinch it so that that goes in like that and you can see it forming. I'm going to stamp this first. And then stamp off with this solid image on top. Then back with this stamp, which is the little face for the sheep. Next I'm going to die cut this. Platform one, platform two, one of the platform threes. Cardstock die, cutting edge face down. And then the second cutting plate, platform three, and then I'm ready to run it through the machine. So I'll do that off camera. Next I'm going to stamp Happy from the Wish For Everything stamp set in Highland Heather and then Easter in the Smoky Slate just underneath. Punch a hole at the top, make sure it's in the middle. Cut off say about four inches, loop it in half, thread it through the hole front to back and put the ends through the loop trim off the ends, cut off say about six inches of scalloped purple posy ribbon and cut it at an angle so that it's easy to thread through the hole. Now this is the back where the join is so you want to take it from the side so it's the left side poke it through it might be a tight fit because the ribbon is bigger than the hole I'll use the blunt end of the stylus to help me do that. Grab a glue dot and stick one down there. And the ribbon back. Take the one inch square that you cut earlier and put a glue dot in the four corners. And also some on the top of the ribbon here. Then pop this one on top to give it a neat finish and press down hard put your goodies in there and then thread the opposite corner so I'll do that off camera because it's going to take a while I should have chosen a ribbon that much softer to go through these little holes but when I did this box I punched a bigger hole but then I thought the hole was too big so then I reverted to the smaller uh, hole punch so if you're going to make it then use um, a finer ribbon and through and then the last one Now to do the tendrils, so wind this round a pencil, like so, um, you can twist it some more if you like to make it smaller, snip off a bit of the end, again attach a glue dot, wind this round a pencil or your stylus. Take the strawberry punch and punch out two leaves. Pop a glue 
dot on your twine and stick it on there. <clears throat> then pop one, several glue dots on the leaf. And stick it on here. Then punch out a little flower. You shush up the petals. Pop it along there. And finish up with a pearl. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. All the links to the supplies are below this video in the show more section. You can also find me on Pinterest, Facebook or Instagram. If you like this tutorial then do give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed then do subscribe and share and I'd be ever so grateful. Thanks for watching. Bye.